The Story of Ferdinand. Once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls had lived with, all the other bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. But not Ferdinand. He liked to sit quietly and smell the flowers. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. It was his favorite tree and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head, she would say. But Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here, where I can sit just quietly and smell the flowers. His mother saw that he was not lonesome, and because she, had, she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she let him just sit there and be happy. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. Look, at, they marked it on the tree over here. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt their heads. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. But not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day, five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. One, two, three, four, five men. All the other bulls ran around snorting and buddying and leaping and jumping so the men would think they were very, very strong and fierce and pick them. Ferdinand knew that he wouldn't, they wouldn't pick him and he didn't care. So he went to his favorite cork tree to sit down. All the other bulls and there goes Ferdinand. And then one, two, three, four, five men. Oh, look at this. Ferdinand didn't look where he was sitting. Instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him. And that is just what this bee did to Ferdinand. Look at the look on Ferdinand's face. Look at his eye. See, remember there's the bee on the flower. And then Ferdinand's reaction to the bee sting. Wow, did that hurt. Ferdinand jumped up with a snort and he ran around puffing and snorting, butting and pawing the ground as if he were crazy. The five man's men saw him and they all shouted with joy. Here was the largest, fiercest bull of all, 
just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. Uh-oh. So the bee made Ferdinand jump up and run around. That sting hurt him. And there's Ferdinand jumping around. So they took him away for the bullfight day in a cart. What a day it was. Flags were flying, bands were playing, and all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. There's the cart with Ferdinand and the lovely ladies and the flags for the bullfight day. They had a parade into the bullring. First came the banderleros with their long sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick the bull and make him mad. Next came the picadors who rode skinny horses and they had long spears to stick the bull and make him madder. Those are funny names. I'm not used to saying them. And then came the matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome and bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword and was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Then came the bull. And you know who that was, don't you? Ferdinand. There's the matador. And if you look really close, there's Ferdinand peeking out. They called him Ferdinand, the fierce of the fierce, and all the bandoleros were afraid of him, and the picadors were afraid of him, and the matador was scared stiff. There they all are, their faces, they look scared, huh? Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring, and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers in the lovely lady's hair, and he just sat down quietly and smelled. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled. And the bandoleros were mad, and the picadors were madder, and the matador was so mad he cried because he didn't show off, he, because he couldn't show off his cape and sword. So they had to take Ferdinand home. Oop, I almost dropped the book. And for all I know, he's still sitting there. For all I know, he is sitting there still under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly. And he's very happy. The end. Ferdinand was able to be who he is. Ferdinand.